Hi guys, well today I'm going to make a, a roast chicken and sweet potato So I prepped up everything and that's the chicken tile I'm using today and that's the sweet potato day So it's going to be a roast chicken and roast sweet potato as well I've got some left over there but I might use them up as well So it's going to be roast chicken and sweet potato are going to be done in the oven okay so I've taken back out the, uh, the sweet potato I've taken back out the sweet potatoes because sweet potatoes take less time to cook than the chicken so I'm going to just put the chicken in and the oven for it to cook a bit more than uh, I put back the potatoes on so there's sweet potatoes they piled up there they can go together, but I want the chicken to be really crispy and have a really nice color. So I take back the potatoes off and I'm going to just cut the chicken off for a bit on its own. Give it a bit of color and then I put the chick and then I put the potatoes back on. So I'm putting the chicken, let them, you know, have a bit of color before the potatoes and the sweet potatoes. More easier to cook than the chicken. Okay. So it's a roast chicken and a sweet potato today. I might steam some cabbage on the side as well. So close that up. And that's all the seasoning I'm using. So I've got my chicken there, my crushed chilies, harissa, chicken, garlic powder, ground ginger, Chinese for spice. And that's all the seasoning I'm using today on this uh, roast chicken and uh, sweet potato. Uh, still cooking just put them in a few minutes ago but you know I'm still checking on them make sure it's okay hey guys see more food and music in the house you know thanks to everyone that supported my channel you don't know see more food and music up and running you hear that bless so let me check on this chicken see what's going on in that oven see what's going on oh Mm. Looking good. Looking really good. But I give it a few more minutes before I put the sweet potato in because as you know the chicken takes longer to cook than the sweet potato. And I'm doing the chicken ties today, real sweet potato. So let's see what happens. And the other sweet potatoes chopped up and waiting to go back in. Sweet potato, roast chicken ties today, and I said I might steam a small amount of cabbage as well. See more food and music. Big, edgy sound. Big. Yo, hey, hey, now I'm coming back with some. Hey, hey, no one bad. Well, guys, I'm just gonna check. I'm gonna put the sweet potatoes in now. Sweet potatoes in. Put them in. Sweet potatoes back in. There's a roast chicken, sweet potato. Put some sweet potato. So what I did, I roast off the chicken for a bit and then uh, putting the sweet potatoes in to finish cooked. Because the sweet potatoes take about 40 minutes to cook in the oven. So you see that, so that's uh, roast chicken thighs and roast sweet potato. Put them back in the oven. Let's 
see that. Let's check on that, see what's going on. Yeah, so it's still cooking. So that's the roast chicken and the roast sweet potato, all cooking with the chicken. So I cooked the chicken off a bit, about 20 30 minutes just to get a bit of color. And now you can see the chicken and the potato roasting on the same tray. Okay, roast chicken, roast sweet potato. Mmm. Yo, hey, see more food and music. Big, AG sound, big. So this is the cabbage that I'm going to be steaming with the um, the roast chicken and the roast sweet potato. So I'm going to chop up some cabbage, quickly wash them and put them in the pot. Yeah. So the pot I'm going to steam them in So I'm going to just put it in the pot. Yeah. I'll really wash, see it nice and clean. Yeah, see it nice and clean. And then you got the cabbage ready to steam. So I'm gonna light up the fire. Light up the fire, yeah. Put on that one, so I'm gonna light this one up. There you go. So it's light up, I'm gonna put the cabbage on. Let's not put a little bit of water in there. I'm not using the oil, just a little bit of water because I like to do basic cooking. See? There you go. So the fire light up. So I'm going to put the cabbage on. I'm going to borrow this lid from this one here and put onto that. Yeah, so it's going to lift up a little bit. Let me see what I'm going to have with the chicken yesterday yeah, so now. So I've got the chicken here, yeah, so see nice colour coming out of there, you see that? Uh, see that? So that's a roast chicken tile, the roast sweet potato. All I cook on the one tree. Yeah? See that? Yeah. Well, I'm just taking it out of the oven. Because I wanted to drain this juice off. You see the juice in there? I want that juice to use on the gravy. You see that juice there, yeah? I want to use that juice on the gravy, so I'm just going to chew off some of that. Yeah? I chew off some of that juice there. I use that as a gravy, yeah? You see that? I couldn't waste that juice there. All of that seasoning, chili pepper. Yeah? That's a good bit of gravy, yeah? So I'm going to put it back in the oven. See the gravy there? I gravy that already, yeah? I put it back into the oven, finish cooking it off. Yeah, nice color. That's gone back in there, yeah? Finish our roast half. So I secure the juice for the gravy in that bowl there. The cabbage, nice and clean. So all in that is just a bit of water because I'm just going to steam it fresh, crunchy. Yeah. The cabbage are going to steam up, yeah? Basic cooking. So it's a steamed cabbage, roast chicken thighs, and roast sweet potato, yeah? Steaming the cabbage basic. All in the dish is just a bit of water. No seasoning, no salt. Because the gravy from the chicken gonna combine with all of that and give it a good taste. See there? Roast chicken, roast sweet potato and a steamed cabbage there, so yeah? Yeah? Can't wait to try this, you know. <laughs> See me on the street and them know me again.
Put it in the gravy in the trough and for the chicken, you see it? Nice and rich. That's the gravy that I'm trying for the chicken, yeah? See cabbage just steam there. Yeah? Nice and crunchy. So guys, that's the juice of throwing off the chicken to use with the gravy. You see that? If I didn't throw that off, it would stay on the roasting tray and burn. So I secured it and I would have used that for the gravy. So all the seasoning right there. Yeah, all the seasoning from there. So give it that gravy, that color. Also, uh, the cabbage almost ready, you know. I want it nice and crunchy. See it in other sir. Whoa. See chicken there? Roast with potato. I eat that there. Yeah? So I'm just gonna check on this chicken and see what's going on. I check on the cabbage because I don't want it to to yeah, cabbage still are going. A chicken. Yeah, nice color of the chicken, you see that? Uh, real sweet potato, chicken color coming on. Looking good, looking good, looking good. I think I might, uh, I think I might take it out just to have a look and to make sure everything is cooking evenly. I'm going to turn some of the potatoes over. Turn some potatoes over here. Yeah. Chicken here, yeah. it's alright. See, nice color on the chicken there. Yeah. Turn some of them over, put them back in. Guys, when you're cooking, you have to pay attention to what you're cooking, okay? Nothing's wrong taking them out. There's nothing wrong, take your chair out, check on them and put it in back into the oven, yeah? That means you're well aware of what's going on. I put it back in the oven. I know 40, 45 minutes and it should be ready. Roast chicken thighs, roast sweet potato and uh, steam cabbage now, so yeah? Steam cabbage is ready. I left it on the heat slowly at just number one. Yeah? Mmm, looking good, looking good. See more food and music. Thanks for support all the time, yeah. And that's the gravy there with me throw off on the tray. I always throw the juice out and use that for the gravy instead of using up a whole lot of mixture, mixture, mixture. Yeah? Don't leave it in the tray to burn. Just throw it off, yeah. I see that. You can imagine that me leave that in the tray to burn. And then I forgot to make out the gravy. And look at that. Well guys, I take the chicken out and I'm turning them over because I want them to have a nice color on both sides. So, I'm turning them over. The sweet potatoes there, okay, they don't have to turn around. Is that crispiness already? Hear that? I still want to turn over them on both sides so they can cook evenly. Now that they turn over, I'm going to put them back into the oven. Uh, the potatoes okay. I touched them. Put them back in. So that's a roast chicken thighs as I said. Roast sweet potato. I put them back in and have a nice colour on both sides. There you go. And this was my card, what I get when I was leaving my second job. I love you guys so much. You know, I miss you guys too. You know, these are the this is my card what I get from all of my friends at work. When I was leaving. Mm. Oh man, I love you guys so much. I miss you too. Mm. I miss you too. I miss you guys. Mm. All my friends. 
miss you guys. I miss you guys so much. All the names are there. Um, I miss you guys. I'll come back and see you guys soon. I miss you too. So as I said, this was my card when I was leaving my second job. Uh, I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. These are some of my special friends, you know. Love you guys. These are some of my special friends, man. Oh my gosh, I love you guys too. Mm. I'll come back and look for you guys, definitely. Thank you so much. And there's a video there of me making my Jamaica beef patty. That's my ingredients there. That's my minced beef there, everything is there. So you can check out my YouTube channel and you can see my Jamaica beef patty. Yeah? A huge less ingredients in mine. That's the mince there. Proper mince. You can taste the chunkiness. See? Jamaica beef patty. See more food and music. You see the color of my mix? Nice and bright. So check out my YouTube channel and see what's going on. If you never know, I had nearly 300 videos on my channel. Yeah. Thank you guys. I love you so much. See more food and music. Thanks for the support. Yeah? Let me say. Steam cabbage, they're ready. And in here, so. In here, so the chicken around, you see that? I'm gonna turn them back over in a minute, but just to let them have some color on both sides. Yeah. All that are gone. See it? I'm gonna turn them in, so now. So you can check out Simo Food and Music, Jamaica Beef Patty, homemade. I made it about 10 months ago. Yeah. No sugar. I hadn't put no sugar in my Jamaica beef patty. Just make it basic, clean and fresh. Yeah, so check out my Jamaica beef patty and tell me what you think. See more food and music. Thank you guys for supporting. First time making Jamaica patty. <laughs> so I'm gonna go into the oven as well. A bit. So I'm gonna be checking on this chicken now, but at the same time, I'm reviewing my own pizza, my homemade pizza, what I make. It's my homemade pizza. <laughs> so let me check on my chicken. What's going on here? Hey, the, the, the cabbage is already done, waiting. See that nice, fresh. Let's check out the chicken now. That's the main one. I'll check the chicken out if I need to turn them back over. Yeah? Uh, look at that color, really bright. Mm. So you can see that there. Look at the color of those chicken. I'm gonna turn them back over now. Finish crispy them up, look at that. Mmm, look at that one. Mmm. See that? So yeah, I'm turning them on both sides. So you can see the nice color there, the crispiness. Look at that one. Mmm. Look at that. I'm gonna check the temperature just to see. Just to see what's going on. I got my probe here, turn it on. I turn my probe and just make sure it's chicken. I know they may be cooked. Anything over 75 is good. See? 80. It's still climbing, so they're cooked. So when you're cooking, anything over 75 degree is cooked. Let's check this one. See, it's almost a hundred. Let's check on the potatoes. Let's see what the potatoes are. Mmm, the potatoes are cooked as well. So when you're cooking, anything over 75 is really good. 
So this is 91 and that is the potato 92. So they're all cooked. You see that? Hmm. Everything is cooked here. So I'm using my probe just to make sure. If I follow the procedure, see that 87 is cooked. But I'm gonna put them back in just for them to crispy up a bit more. I put them back into the oven. So this is my roast chicken thighs and roast sweet potato, steamed cabbage. Look at that. Get that fin in say 15 minutes just to crispy up. As I said, the cabbage is there already. And this is the gravy, what I threw off from it earlier. This is what I'm gonna use for my gravy. Nothing else. See that, rich? From all of those seasoning, what I use on there. Yeah? And over here, I'm reviewing my, um, my homemade pizza. If you can check my channel out and have a look at my homemade pizza, I got eggs on there, chili peppers. It's been there a while now, but that's all my homemade pizza as well. I'm just doing a review on it. So if you didn't know, see more food and music. I'm good at making pizza as well. There you go. And it's got egg on there. How much of you would put egg on a pizza? Look at that. Tin crust. Look at that. I mean, try your pizza, yes? <laughs> Today I'm gonna to be trying the chicken and the roast with potato. Nice. Check that out on my YouTube channel, guys. I had almost 300 videos on my YouTube channel. Thanks for supporting Simo for the music. You know, it's a pleasure having you guys on board. Respect. Also, guys, also, guys, please check out my my TikTok channel in a Seymour Food of Music, Seymour 8, 9 and TikTok. You know, these are some of the videos that I posted. You know, please check out my TikTok channel. That's my pizza there. It's on TikTok as well. So my TikTok is good, doing all right. There you go. Seymour Food of Music, yeah? You want to see this one? I'll play this one for you then. There you go. So that's a roast chicken day, batten potato, fandom potatoes, and uh, roast chicken that is as well. I've done that in UCB Birmingham. That is as well. Baking bread. So you know, you can check out my TikTok channel. It's all good. See more food and music all the way. So see more food and music, my TikTok channel here. Yeah? You can see that for yourself. Yeah, see more food. Tic Tac, see more 89. Tic Tac, yeah? That's my latest video. I posted the curry mutton there. It's doing alright. See that, yeah? So that's the see more food and music Tic Tac channel, yeah? So you can find me on Tic Tac. Just type see more 89. You see the king come up, yeah? So there you go now, I'm gonna take this chicken out, it's ready, you see the temperature, I'm gonna probe it again to make sure that I haven't taken it too early but I'm sure it's ready. See the colour on the chicken, if things is ready, just gonna probe it again just to make sure. Probe it again to make sure this chicken is done. Should be 75. Anything over 75 is good. See it? It's climbing. 82. It's all good. Yeah? See? All good. Let's try the potato. Roast sweet potato. Ninety. So they're really, really done completely. You see it for yourself. All done completely. Check that one. See, everything is done. The probe is not lying. Turn it on again and check just to make sure. Okay, now chicken have to cook properly. See, it immediately it jumped right to that temperature. 
So there you go, it's all ready. So I'm gonna quickly put some chicken onto this plate here. There you go. See that color on the chicken, crispy. Uh, they put some sweet potato on. I don't want much in there. Actually, let's have two for now. Well, my friend's coming over and she's gonna want to have some of these as well. So, put some of that on. Yeah, I get some steamed cabbage as well. Steamed cabbage is here. See that? Steamed cabbage is here. No need to probe the cabbage because you can see it's nice and done perfectly. Put some steamed cabbage there. See that? So that's a roast chicken, roast sweet potatoes. And this is the steamed cabbage I'm putting on. Not much. All my friends want to link up for this. See that? So I'm going to put some of these jukes on there now from the chicken. I didn't throw that away. That's the gravy. See that? See that's there, that's the gravy. Mm. Some onto the cabbage as well, look at that. All of that juice, mmm. Mm. Let's move over here. So that's my roast chicken tiles, roast with potatoes, steamed cabbage. And I'm gonna check this out now. Put that there. Look at that. Mm. Look at the color of the chicken. See that? See the juice there. So there you go. I'm gonna try some of this, this chicken now. Dip some in that juice there. See that? Nice and soft. Mmm. I'll try some of this. Really, really, some potatoes, some of the cabbage as well. I'm gonna try this now. I'll try some of this. Mmm. Ah. I'll try all of that. So that's how you got some chicken on there, you got some cabbage, you got some, let's see, color on the chicken, cabbage, roast sweet potato. So I'm gonna try that now. I'll try some of that. Mmm. Really nice. Fresh. So you got a cabbage, you got some chicken on there. You got a sweet potato. I'm gonna try that now. There you go. See that? Nice color from the potato. Nice color, yeah? Try that now. Mmm, man, it's really nice. So, so, so that is my, that is my homemade roast chicken thighs. The crispiness on the skin, I like the skin of chicken. You got all the flavor in there, all the seasoning. The nice crispy chicken, nice cooked soft. See that? Mmm. Any crispiness from a chicken. See that? See that? On both sides, turn them over to let them really crispy. See that? Really nice. Look at that, man. So, guys, this is my um, homemade. Roast chicken tiles, roast sweet pepper, a pepper, roast sweet potato, steamed cabbage. And look at that, that's the finishing touch of it. The cabbage with the juice from the chicken water trough. So guys, you don't have to let that juice stay on the roasting chair and burn. Take it off, use it as a gravy. And imagine, so tasty. Mm. Thank you guys for supporting Simo Food and Music.
as I said, I got so many videos on my channel, so please check out my videos. You can see for yourself. See my photo music is up and running. Thanks to everyone who's following me. Thanks to everyone who supported me. See my photo music. Thank you guys. Love you. Bye bye for now. See you later. Bye.